Hey YouTube, I'm going to try something a little different today. Uh, my name is Anthony Frasica. I do my Here in My Office series and if you subscribe, thank you for being subscribed and if you if you like these videos, please uh, please consider uh, please consider joining up. I'm going to give you a little tour of my house. So uh, what we're doing right now is we're walking up and uh, I don't think I'm going to go in the backyard. I just wanted to give you a little idea. You'll see all these videos of me um, in my house. It, namely in my office. I've made almost 30 videos now of being in my office and I just wanted you guys to see what this house looks like that I'm calling you from and that I'm having my videos from. So as you can see there's a front door here. It's the main entrance. And then over here is the secondary entrance in my office that I talked to you from is actually behind this wall in this in this in this addition. Now this is an addition that was added to the house in 1980 and this house has, there's the atrium. We'll get to that and show you that inside. Um, you can see all the got all my plants in there and everything. Um, and then you can see the large front yard uh, with the uh, hedge and stuff. And part of the reason I'm making this video too, guys, is uh, I'm in a position where I may have to sell this house um, due to career changes. Which, if, if you've been following here in my office, you would know that. And um, just wanted to get a good video of this house, whether I stay here or not, just to give you a good view. And uh, pardon me that the house is not the cleanest, so we're going to kind of do this MTV crib style. Most people come up to this door here. we got three front doors. This one, the side door here. Let's go in and check it out. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, guys. I might have to break this up into more than one video, but anyway, you step into the home. we got a three-car garage here. Actually, there's four garage doors, and then um, this is where I got my Land Rover. And if you want to watch a video of my Land Rover LR4, I took I took a complete tour of that. But uh, as you can see, we have enough room here to really park more than one car. You know, you can you could probably fit four cars in this garage if you need really needed to. Um, again, pardon the mess, but uh, down here it's pretty cool. Uh, that goes to the basement. So we'll see that when we get down to the basement if if we if we make it to that. I think I'm going to show you everything about this house except for upstairs because we we got a puppy and the dog's been pooping on the rug. And uh yeah. So here here's when you first come in from your side entrance. Get the view of this award-winning kitchen. But before you get to there, you got a comprehensive got your laundry room here. You know, got a window to the back. And then this 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 mud area with the dog, and uh, you could see this kind of dressing area mud room that we start with, and then um, let's move into the house. Let's move move into the let's start at the front door. It makes it a lot less confusing. So you saw the front entrance from the outside. So here's where you're coming in right here. And I, when I first toured this house, she, she brought me through the side entrance and I was so confused because it's such a big house. I just said, I said, can you, can we go through the front door? So here's your front entrance. Uh, got the stone floor and then that stone floor extends this way here. And, and then when you're in here, your eye is taken to the right immediately and you get to see this beautiful room here. This is the living room with a wood burning fireplace. We got three fireplaces in this house. And, uh, you know, got the grand piano. Grand piano came with the house. I would love to take it with me if I have to move. But uh, we'll see about that. But here it is, unless I work it into a deal and I sell the house. I don't want to sell the house, guys, but you got to do what you got to do here. But uh, here's the dining room. Got my Bernhardt furniture. All the furnishings in this house are by Bernhardt. Uh, not in this house, in this room. And these are Bernhardt club chairs. Pick this stuff up, really nice stuff. And that's the thing about this too. You should have seen the way this house was decorated when I bought it. Like garbage. Like we got good stuff here. We got a wannabe Tiffany lamp, but uh, that's a very nice lamp. It weighs about a thousand pounds. And then here you got the view. Out here you got you know a lot of good uh, privacy. As you can see, the house across the street has all this hedge in front of it. Emily, you're gonna have to shut the dogs up. So uh so here's your your main living area and you know you got 
got this nice stone uh, brick brickwork and actually this house is designed in the Frank Lloyd Wright style and as you can see this brick this th long thin brick this is a Frank Lloyd Wright um, inspiration so if you go look at like the Darwin Martin house and you look at some Frank Lloyd Wright homes you'll see the design cues that were um, taken from this house and uh, we have all sorts of lighting in here let me let me get the lights on for you We've got lights coming on that turns on with a switch and then uh, yeah I got all the artwork in the house and everything like that but let me let me take you through to uh, so then here, this will take you into my California closet. And if you watch my other videos, we have a spectacular closet in this house. Going to be the the showpiece of selling this home, basically. And they finished all the crown molding. It's beautiful. Dropped about 20 grand in here. Um, over 20 grand. We got to finish the rug. So we'll do that. But uh, got the LG Styler. This is a... This is a dry cleaning machine, uh, steamer. Obviously, it's part of the house now. You know, it comes with the house. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, depending on where I get employed, guys. I might have to lose. I might have to leave this house. But the next house will be just as sweet. Don't, don't you, uh, uh, don't you make any mistake. We're gonna, we're gonna go to an equally as impressive house. Uh, I checked. I changed all the light fixtures here. So as you can see, uh, this is kind of an art gallery kind of area. And then this room, then again, takes you back to takes you back to the California closet area that we were in before. So that gives you a good lay of the land. So where else? What else do we have in here? Let's go and let's show you the kitchen. So this kitchen is just whoa, beautiful kitchen. Sold the house for me. And as you can see, best kitchen, the Brady kitchen, Buffalo, New York. So, so here's my kitchen. Um, we've got all. Uh, sorry for it's not clean, but they're you know ki kitchen a cooktop. Um, and one other nice thing about this kitchen too is you, you got the big tall ceiling, you got a skylight, got all this. Uh, all these lighting cans in the ceiling, uh, recessed lighting, and got the Miele, got a Miele espresso machine. We get tons of use out of this. This thing is awesome. Look at this, you know. Put the, you put the coffee beans right in there, man. Put the coffee beans right in the top, and it'll take you straight from bean to making your own coffee. And look, it actually, it'll like makes it little makes the makes the coffee grounds like little pucks. Does individual servings, but uh, oh yeah, we get use that every day. That's another thing. If the next house doesn't have one of these, which it probably won't, I'll uh, I'll invest in one. Who's about three grand, but uh, we'll get the new one, I guess. And this here, as you can see, got an oven, and this is a microwave up here. So it's not double ovens. It's it's a convection microwave. This is all, you know, KitchenAid. And then uh, got this warming drawer here. Check this out. That's pretty cool. With the hardwood floors throughout. Little breakfast area. This is where we walked in earlier when we came in through the garage. Um, so that's the kitchen, guys. Let's get a good look at that. Just a real nice workspace. Got a huge island with a sink on it. And uh, then that'll take you down to... Uh, the living room, the family room rather, with got indirect lighting. This this ceiling I wanted to change uh, if I stayed here because it's got uh, it's like asbestos or something. It's kind of falling down. This is where I got my stereo. Got a large room. It's all glass. And actually, I could get you a good look at the yard. And then what is, what's pretty cool here is this is like a like a plant room, like a solarium. So as you can see, we got plants in here growing. That's a, uh, that right, this right here is actually a uh, cherry tomato plant that I grew from seed. I buried a tomato and it turned into a cherry tomato plant. Actually, actually come to think of it, I probably have to, have to water that a little bit for you. I'll lose my cherry plant. 
So uh, yeah, I gotta remember to keep everything watered in here. Uh, got all sorts of plants, and as you can see, the yard, fully fenced yard. I uh, got an in-ground in pool. It's all covered right now for the winter time, and then in the distance is the tennis court. Love that lighted tennis court. See the light fixtures and everything like that. Um, so we're on 2.2 acres, guys, in Amherst, New York, which is actually America's safest town. So here's the coming back in the house. As you can see here, we got a got a little, uh, patio, covered patio there. So here are the stairs to go upstairs. People ask, is this house a ranch? Because all this area is is all um, one floor. But uh, we've got storage upon storage in here. Look at this. The lights turn on in the, in the, here automatically. I'm sorry, this is a mess, but we've got three closets up here. That's a clo That's another closet. Got a half bathroom. A little half bath. A little half bath for you. Yeah, that looks good, right? Large bathroom for a half bath. But uh, that goes upstairs, and there's uh, th that's the main the main original 1960 house. Um, and then I'll show you how it twirls up the twirly staircase when we get over there. Um, so, let's see here. So I'm not doing a lot of talking, guys. This is mostly uh, for you guys just to check out visually. Here's the master bathroom, master bedroom, and it's such a mess. But uh, what we're gonna do is this, all this garbage, all this crap in front of the window, this is gonna be relocated and put over here once, you know, if we stay here. All this stuff is for sale. These these racks that I thought were a good idea in hindsight. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty, guys. I thought that I would have good use out of these, but they're actually from the Bonton closeout sale. And then we got a nice vanity here. Then the master bathroom, and you know, this is no master bathroom to write home about. It's kind of a, not kind of, it is a tiny master bathroom, but it's got a good size shower, as you can see. Got a good size shower. This was probably done in the eighty, done in the nineteen eighties. Got a jetted tub. It's a small tub, but it's jetted. And then we got, I kind of like how there's tile going all the way up the walls, all the way to the ceiling. But uh, that's your master bathroom. I think if I stayed here, I'm going to stop saying if I stayed here. I think what I'm going to do, what I would do is blow this wall out right here and turn this all into master bathroom area. So then, you know, you could have your vanity there and everything like that, but open this up, you know, because it's, we have the square footage. I mean, this is a 5,500 square foot house with a 3,000 square foot basement. So there's plenty of room. Um, now here, I'm going to take it to the addition. Now this is the 1980 edition that was done. And I like to call this room the atrium. And uh, we could see there's a door that takes you to the back. Goes out to the pool, a little patio, a little path down to the pool. And uh, I just keep my plants in here. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty high up there. Um, might as well go upstairs, guys, and show you going up the twirly staircase. Get a good look at everything. There you go. So coming up the stairs. Got a nice view. This 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 goes to where we were talking about earlier. Um, down there, there's just some bedrooms in here and another bathroom. It's nothing really. Not too exciting. But uh, this is just a real centerpiece of the house. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. So then this is our uh, our arts and crafts Pusheen room. Yeah, Pusheen the cat. Could be a bedroom. You know, this is a five bedroom house. Um, no, it's a six bedroom house. I don't even know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bedrooms. Um, 
got a pretty cool little uh, bathroom that we never use here, but uh, you can check that out. Big bathroom. Got another shower here. Big shower. Then again, I think this is all done in 1980. Hasn't really been changed since then. A little toilet stall area. Just a large, that toilet is running actually. So I'll take you out of here. That's my, uh... and then closet space. We got closet space galore here, look at this. This is just showing you, get a good view of the front lawn where the water is all, my waterlogged front lawn. Casement windows. And just uh, got a lot of, uh, got a lot of racks, racks on racks in here just for storage and stuff like that. And this all lights up at night. Very pretty. Um, this is another bedroom. Might as well walk in here. I, if I stay here, I was saying I'm going to make this room my recording studio. But it's got a vaulted ceiling. We have vaulted ceilings in both these rooms. Get a good view of the room here. So you can see it's a pretty large, pretty large room. And uh, as you can see, you get a good view of the backyard. Pool area. Tennis court area. Fully fenced. I just said we had a, a windstorm and some of the fences got knocked down. And I uh, just had that fixed. This is another closet. And as you can see, the... Fuck. Massive amount of closet space. And, uh, you know, upstairs, that room right there, that's our, that's the bedroom we were in. Just to get you oriented. And then, uh... So that's, that's the upstairs, and then I'm going to show you the, the real wow room that everybody is like, whoa, I'm downstairs. Now there's a bathroom down here. It's got so many bathrooms I don't even know. Got another shower. Yeah, yeah. Got a shower. I've used it before. I've used it once. Um, a nice little, little vanity here, and uh, and then look at they got this uh, pretty cool mirror like display case. I don't know. Here's the people. I found this picture while we were doing the California closet. I found this underneath. A uh, now, now the person I bought these are these are not the people I bought this house from. So I'm guessing that this is the guy that did the addition. This is the guy that owned the house before the person I bought the house from. The person I bought the house from has lived here for like 18 years. And then before that, it must have been these guys because it, um, it was stuffed under some papers. It, it was there was a desk built into the wall, and it like this picture slipped between the wall and the and the desk. And when we ripped it out to do the California closet, I found it. Use our hashtag AnthonyRon82. You know what I'm talking about. We got Snoopy. Snoopy thinks this house is ridiculous. Uh, this is my first house. My first house on Grand Island, New York. Then I had my second house in Lancaster, and then this is now my third house. And let's just show you the, the wow room. Look at this. This is here in my office. This is where the show, this is where my here in my office segment is filmed from. And uh, we just got books, books everywhere. We got built in, built ins everywhere. Got a real fireplace. We got a Brunswick pool table. And uh, yeah, real fireplace. That's pretty cool. Got a wet bar. So that's the office, guys. It's quite an office, isn't it? So, I love this office home. This is probably the one thing that I would never replace when we move. 
the chances of getting a house with an office is spectacular as this one is, you know, not likely, even if you're talking about 6,000 square foot houses. Um, might as well show you the rest of the place. We're, we're at 20 minutes, but uh, hey, if you wanna if you wanna log off and don't want to see the rest of the house, that's up to you. So let's let's check out the basement. Now the basement is finished, but it's not that nice. I mean, it was finished. It was finished quite a long time ago, and uh, you know, got the Berber carpets going down to the basement. And pardon me, guys. This is our we. This is our basement, and it's used as a basement, and that's why there's just shit everywhere. But um, recessed lighting, fluorescent lights. They must have. This must have been an office of some sort, because it's really got commercial office furniture. And then here's the how many bathrooms we got. This is our sixth or seventh bathroom, but this is not finished, as you can see. This is a scary bathroom situation going on down here uh if i was to ever i don't know finish the bathroom i don't see any point in finishing that bathroom i'm never going to use it but um here's this goes through to the garage as i showed you before they had so much junk laying on the ground but uh this takes you up takes you up into the garage just like we were before nice Nice way of getting stuff out of the house. Got my got my poor little won't start lawnmower. Replaced it with the John Deere. But uh yeah, here's the here's the garage to the basement. And uh what we got over here too. A little, they had a little hairdressing thing going on, but we're using it as like a, this is where we put the bunny. This is Hermie. Hermie the bunny. And then this is like a, one of those hairdressers, you know, where they wash your hair. And then here's a fireplace. The third fireplace in the house. It's a wood burner. Could be used. I mean, I've never used it, but I probably never will use it. I have no reason to hang out down here, but. Um, and then down here, we've just got more, uh. It's another room back here. Let's turn this on. As you can see, got the all the guts to the house. One of three breaker boxes and all that stuff. Um, this is kind of a nice little storage area in here. Nice little storage area for Christmas stuff here, things like that. And then we got our, that's the furnace that runs the, uh, uh, the office. We got three furnaces in this house. So that's the first furnace. And then, uh, door's fucked up. Um, yeah, and then this is, I don't think I have a light on in here. You don't care. It's where the other furnaces are and the sump pump and shit like that. But I don't have a way of... Oh, no, I could turn it on. Okay. Yeah, this is the basement. The other two furnaces that run the main house. They run the main house and the master bedroom has its own furnace here. Got a half-inch water supply. With... Here's the water lawn sprinkler system. It's turned off right now. Big-ass water meter. And then it looks like they were doing like, there's like this piece of metal up here that you could like hang something from. A water heater. That's all that. No, nothing too exciting in here. Just the, the guts of the, the house, the operation, keep it running. And those are just closets back there. But uh, they do have good storage. As you can see. You know, got all sorts of storage space everywhere but this is my basement my basement's a mess I wish I could show you something a little nicer but it's a messy basement all right guys uh that about does it 
That about does it. Let's go back. Let's go back into the living room. So what's your favorite room, guys? I think my favorite room is this room. This is just amazing. But, uh, yeah, this was just finished up. Well, it's not finished, but the closet portion was just finished up this week. They finished this window seat, as you can see. Got nice, got nice dovetailed things. So, guys, uh, this house is probably going to go up for sale in the coming months. If I get a job in Bentonville, Arkansas, I'll go to Walmart. I'm going to need to uh, relocate. But I guess that's part of being a corporate corporate guy, right? But uh, so that's it, guys. That's my house. That's the the monster house. But uh, yeah, 5,500 square feet, 3,000 square feet basement, 2.2 acres, Amherst, New York. Get a good look at the side. You know, I, my neighbors. You know, you don't really see them. So you get just the utmost privacy. You got a big driveway, turnaround driveway, and uh, and yeah, guys. So th thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you stuck around this long, I'm gonna make more videos probably like this. Um, especially if I move, we'll be making videos on the houses that we're looking through. Um, I might even take my camera with me uh, when I go to Bentonville, Arkansas. I'm gonna look through a house. Um, but if we get to the point where there's another house that I'm going to buy, um, I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop, update my YouTube channel. All right, guys. So have a good day. Thanks.